I hope you can look at your life and see the many times that you have been blessed when someone has put your needs ahead of their own. One such small kindness occurred on my mission. I served French speaking in the Canada Montreal mission where it was cold. So, so cold. In the winter, we would bundle up with long johns and leggings under our skirts, snow boots, sweaters, hats, scarves, under hoods and everything covered. Really, the only thing you could see was our eyes and our name tags. The entrances then of most homes in Quebec feature a big plastic pan to catch the snow melting from boots left at the front door. As missionaries, we would come in from the cold, take off our boots, leave them in the pan, unwrap everything else, and have a visit. And then you'd have to reverse the process to leave. Sister Barney and I spent most of one winter together, and we became very adept at moving in and out of our snow gear. That winter, we were also privileged to share the gospel with a wonderful woman, Sister Janine James. Sister James was elegant and gracious. Her home was well-appointed and her cooking divine. As we taught her, she welcomed the gospel with an open heart and mind. We were comfortable in her home where we felt the spirit and we felt loved. One afternoon, after a particularly cold and difficult day, we ended up at Sister James's house for a quick stop. We read scriptures and prayed together. And then when it was time to go, I was just overwhelmed. I did not want to leave her warm and lovely home. I thought I was hiding my stress well, but apparently not well enough because Sister James noticed and she came down the stairs where Sister Barney and I were putting on all of our clothes. Um, she paused before me. And when I paused to reach down and put my boots on, she knelt down in the dirty and melting snow and she started to put my boots on for me. I was first embarrassed and then immediately emotional because the only thing I could see as she knelt before me was Jesus kneeling to wash the disciples' feet. An equally dirty and uncomfortable task, I'm sure. When she was done, she gave us both hugs and sent us back out renewed to continue our work for the Lord. But that day, Sister James's simple, unselfish act was truly the Lord's work.